Hello and welcome to lesson 3. In this lesson, we are going to look at variables in Python. My name is Mildred. Now variables in Python are created when you assign a value to it. And when we say variables, we mean a container for storing data values. Let's say for instance, we have the number 5. We want to store the number 5 so that when we need that number, we just call the container that holds that number 5. Let's say we define a variable called x. So I'm going to type x and I'll say x is equal to 5. Now x is now a variable that stores the value 5. We are going to look at data types later on, but I want you to know that when you want to write a number, you just write a number. When you want to write a text or a string of characters, you put it in single or double quotes like this like this so let's say we want to define a variable called age for instance so let's say age is equal to 20. we want to define a variable called first name and we'll say first name is equal to john we want to declare a variable called last name and we'll say last name is equal to two these are variables the first variable age stores a value of 20, which is an integer. We write numbers without putting the quotes. The next variable, first name, we declare as a string. We can redeclare a variable after it has been declared and assign a value of any type. So we can redeclare age here and say age is equal to 18. The system is going to use the last declared age. So this has already replaced the 20 with 18. So if I say print age, I'm going to have 18 printed to the page because I replaced it. But when I take this out, or let me comment this, I'm going to have 20 has the age printed. So take note that you can redeclare variables and the last declared variable is what you are going to have printed to the screen. Since we do not need to specify a type when we're creating variable, we can cast the value to a type. Let's say this age is an integer. We want to see the type of value assigned to the age variable. In Python, we want to print this out. We use the print statement like this, and we can print type, and in a pair of brackets, put the age. So we want to print the type of age, but not the age. So when we, let me clear this so we can see what we're doing. And when I run this, I'm going to have type of age is of int. I want to change this age to be a string. I want to cast this. So I want to say x is equal to string age. Now, the age is now a string. And when I print x, I'm going to have string printed to the page. Although x is this 20, which is the age, x is of type string because I have casted that age to a type of string. And when I run this, I'm going to have the first one, the type of age is int, and the second, the type of x, which is the age casted as a string, is now a string. So you can cast to string by using the string method like this and put the variable you want to cast or the value you want to cast. You can cast to an integer by putting int like this and then you put the value or the variable you want to cast to an int or to a float by using float like this and then you put the variable or the value that you want to cast to a float like that. So this is what we call type casting. We use the type like this to see the type um, data type of a particular value or variable. And in a pair of parentheses, we put that variable or the value whose type we want to know. Now there are rules for naming variables. We can have any name and the names of variables are case sensitive. So when we have first name like this, it's totally different from saying first name like this. So variable names are case sensitive. You always want to start with a letter or an underscore. You cannot start a variable with a number. You can have the name containing alphanumeric characters and the underscore. So the three rules are, it can contain only alphanumeric characters and the underscore. It is case sensitive. You cannot start it with a number. 
it must start with a letter or an underscore. So these are the rules for naming variables in Python. When you name your variables, you want to stick to the same convention. We have a convention we call camel case, where every letter of every new word is um, capitalized like this. First name, this is a camel case way of writing it. Or you want to use a Pascal case, where each word started an uppercase like this, first name. Or you want to use um, the snake case, like what we just did, like this, first name. Any convention you choose to use, just stick to the same convention for the sake of neatness. If we have the same value for many variables, we can do it like this. Let's say we have three variables A, B, and C. A, B, C are three variables. We want to set their initial values all to zero. We can say A is equal to B, is equal to C, is equal to zero. So we have done this easier than saying a is equal to zero, B is equal to zero, and C is equal to zero. So this is one way to write that. So A equal to B equal to C equal to zero. So we can declare everything in one. We also have something called format string that will come in handy and is always um, more interesting to use. And when we want to do format string, we do things like this. For instance, I have first name is equal to John, last name, is equal to do and full name is equal to first name for plus last name i want to print out full name when i save this and i run i'm going to have john doe printed to the page but i don't want to print it out like this let's say i don't have the full name variable declared so i'm going to do print to use the format string i can use print f and then in a pair of quotes I want to put the first name of the user is, then I'll put coily braze and I'll put the first name here. And the last name is last name. So this is how we use the format string. When you put the format string F, you are going to have a pair of quotes. And within the quotes, you can use the coily braze to have placeholders where you can put the variable name inside. There's another way to do this, which is to write it this way. The first name of the user is, you put empty coily braids, and then you put dot format. Then you now replace them in the same order. Both of them will print out exactly the same thing. So when I save and I run, we have the same thing printed out to the page. So these are two methods to print out things, um, and this will come in handy. When you start developing software this will be the best method to use using format strings like this so you've seen um, different ways of declaring variables and how we use variables if you actually have the chance to subscribe to um, copilot it's going to be very good because you can read function definitions like this you can auto complete your code and you will see the best it's not always accurate you have to know what you are doing to know what to accept and what not to accept but Along the line, it's an extension you want to have on your IDE. So um, this is basically how we write variables, how we use format strings. There are many methods and functions that are so interesting to use in Python. And as we go along, we are going to do that. So this is where we end this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to look at the different data types that we have in Python. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.